Hello, I'm Bill Dallas, and I'd like to welcome you to a very special program, One Nation Under God. I'm here at the U.S. Capitol, one of the most recognized buildings in the entire world. It is here where our elected officials pass the laws that govern our great land. And it is here, back in 1954, that the U.S. Congress passed a law to modify the Pledge of Allegiance to include the words, under God, in it. The story goes like this. A local pastor at New York Avenue Presbyterian Church, just a few blocks from the Capitol, preached a sermon one Sunday in 1954 on how something was missing from the pledge. Pastor George Dougherty reminded his congregants about the words under God that Abraham Lincoln had made famous in his Gettysburg Address during the Civil War. Sitting in Lincoln's pew that Sunday, February 7, 1954, was President Dwight Eisenhower. Eisenhower was so moved by the sermon that he agreed to support the change the pastor suggested. The next day, a bill was introduced here at the Capitol to change the pledge. President Eisenhower signed it into law on June 14, 1954. Since then, most Americans have uttered those famous words while pledging their allegiance to the United States of America. Over 50 years ago, those words truly represented the feelings of most Americans. Is that still true today? Over the next two hours, we'll explore that question together. You'll hear from some well-known American leaders, historian David Barton, former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich, and champion of marriage and family Dr. James Dobson will offer their perspectives. If you're like me, I think you'll be inspired and challenged by what you hear today. The question is, will you be challenged enough to do something with what you hear? If there's one thing we can learn from history, it's that America is great not because of what we know. America is great because of what we believe and do. Today we're going to challenge your beliefs and hopefully turn them into something that will cause you to take action. Action that is absolutely necessary if we're going to turn this great land once again towards God so that the prosperity will pour down upon our children and upon our children's children. Are you ready? Let's get started.